Every deck has its own legacy and position of power. Where does your deck fall among the rubble? Every two weeks, a tournament is played out, but for every archetype that makes it to the final stage, they are banished for the rest of the series. Who will be the last card standing? This video is sponsored by Call of Dragons. Call of Dragons is an epic fantasy MMO strategy game available on mobile devices and PC that allows you to explore a fantasy world where you recruit countless fantasy creatures like elves, orcs, and goblins into your army to take part in a real-time fantasy battle against other players or other behemoths like dragons. Explore the vast realm of Tamari, which is home to icy tundras, scorched deserts, and lush wilderness crisscrossed by stark mountain ranges, perilous ravines, and vast lakes and rivers. Call of Dragons allows for fine-tuned real-time tactical decisions on the battlefield, giving you full reign to flex your strategic muscle. Place your forces where you see fit, engage the enemy in a game of cat and mouse, or cut off your opponent's only means of escape. The battlefield can change in an instant, and working in perfect harmony is key to victory. Call of Dragons features realistic strategy warfare with endless tactical possibilities. The terrain isn't just for show as it's one of the most important features of the gameplay. Set up your range units behind natural barriers like ravines and rock formations to barrage the enemy without taking any damage, or use melee tank units to block your enemy's path and deploy your range units to attack from a distance. Equip your allies with a wide array of magical artifacts, each with their own unique skills, whether it's turning invisible, moving at lightning speed, or healing in an instant. There's something for every style of gameplay. Pair heroes with complementary skills together and deploy them in the battle to own the field. You can even put your hero roster alongside other allied players' forces and unleash artifact skills for an even bigger battlefield boost with tons of incredible strategic configurations. Download Call of Dragons to join the fantasy battles now by clicking the link in the description and the pinned comment or by scanning the QR code on screen. Make sure to use the promo code CODFANTASY. Wow, we are playing against Mirror Force John out here. Mirror Force John with the baby. All right, uh, we're gonna go Foolish Amphibian. We're sending Soul Energy Max into the void for the Breaking Ruin God, which does what? Specials Obelisk from the hand, and it's unaffected by card effects this turn. Battle phase, Gotto Crush Fist. Why is this thing so big? 3,500. Sends the baby, the baby special the baby. Okay. Um, that gets destroyed, and we're gonna set all of our cards and pass here, and then Obelisk sends himself now! Honestly, you could literally special Obelisk, and it wouldn't, like, make a difference. Wow, we are really desperate in the LCS. Look at this. We are playing Man Mimicking Maneater Bug and Mirror Forces. That is our deck. Okay. Energy Max here activates at the end of the main phase to add the Royal Obelisk into Soul Crossing! Tribute your opponent's entire field here! In the end phase, all right, draw for turn. How are we going to play through this? Fist of Fate is top decked. Battle phase, Obelisk gets hit with a drowning. There's no way you can just drowning Obelisk. <laughs> These cards are so bad. Why do the Jesus God cards? Okay, so low key, gross. hot take. God cards My should be unaffected by card effects. Like, I'm sorry. Well like, you should only can't. be able to, like, tribute them or something. Like, what's the point of playing them? Like, oh my god, they're so bad. All right, where's it? What's it? Why are we playing Econ? What's the synergy? Just good card, forehead? I think that's where we're at in the uh, LCA. Are you playing like 15 Mirror Forces, AZ? I think you're playing like 15. Oh, oh, oh! What's the reborn? Bring back the Obelisk. Oh, you didn't bring back the Royal Rare? Oh, wait, he's in the deck, actually. All right. Activate Fist of Fate! Uh. Oh! <laughs> what just happened? This card's activation effect cannot be negated if you control the monster whose original name is Obelisk. Negate the effects of one effect monster your opponent controls it if you do destroy it. If you do for the rest of that turn, effects of that monster are negated as well as activate some effects of that monster. Then if you activate this effect during your main phase, destroy all spells and traps your opponent controls. Okay. okay! So it's a destroy one monster into heavy storm. Absolutely fantastic. All right. What are we doing here? We're summoning back the Mimicking Maneater bug. How, how are we going to out this with Obelisk, by the way? All right. Battle phase. Attack the Mimicking Maneater bug. <laughs> Who, who would win? An obelisk or a bug? <laughs> Literally the bug, dude. He said himself now. <laughs> the bug just won. <laughs> okay, we're putting terrors and attack mode uh, uh, activated here. We've drawn another obelisk. Okay, end phase, we're going to go king backjack here. 
Uh, did you- was that a random backjack? It was a random backjack, okay. Oh, 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 dice jar, baby. What is going on? The LCS is so terrible. Oh, there it is, the breaking ruin god here. Uh, brings back obelisk into soul crossing. Tributes his own obelisk for obelisk. Maybe it's like a Salomon great. Gets like bonus card effects if it's tributed for itself. Okay, right, we've uh, sphere moded the whole field here. We actually somehow had an out to the, uh, what's it called? Uh, mimicking man-eater bug. All right, draw for turn here. We're on turn 14, by the way. Battle phase, go to crunch fist! And, uh, infinite ant eating uh, yeah, that guy, yeah. Put it to econ, puts it into attack mode. And then, what is this? Does it start a damage step? Destroys a back row here. Go to crush fist, punch for 28. Main phase two, card advance, stacks his own deck and passes. All right, we're top decking. What do we have for obelisk? That's not ideal, no! <laughs> What a freaking card, dude. What a freaking card. I can't wait to see what the guy called Vsauce's balls likes uh, running. Couple of aces in the hand here. That's cute. Activate couple of aces. Toss a coin. It's tails. So it summons it to your opponent's hand. <laughs> oh! Oh, it's Gen and Ken! It's Gen and Ken! Oh! <laughs> it's Gen and Ken! <laughs> Set heavy slump. Draw for turn. Heavy slump. Loop the hand here. After we get MST, chain DDG. Oh my god, I didn't realize they brought this crap over to the TCG. Yeah, all right. Oh, that is insane. Loop your opponent's hand for two and uh, pass turn. Oh no, we're gonna we're actually gonna attack instead of going to defense mode. All right, that's that's amazing. All right, next up, another cup of aces. What do we got here? Oh, we're not gonna do it. Is it one? Can you only control one or something? Are we just not going to use this? Okay, we're just not going to use it. Okay. Uh, machine dupe after top decking gimmick puppet uh, terror baby, by the way. Uh, that seems completely reasonable. And that just turned on the trade-in as well. Uh, DDG after the trade-in. That's... Why didn't we DDG? Okay, whatever. You know, I'm asking too many questions of a uh, couple of aces player here. The hell is that? Rank up magic, numeron, force. Okay. Special summon out the Dreary Doll. We're going to take 15 here. Is that it? You made the link too? That's it? I feel like this deck should do more. All right, anyway, draw for turn. Oh my god, he's doing it again! <laughs> oh, oh no, no, we missed the coin flip this time. Well, I guess it's always a win-win, right? If you have thrust and talents, right? I guess I guess it's always a win-win. <laughs> All right, set Man-Eater Bug, set a card and pass turn here. Activate the uh, Link Monster here, adds a 8. Condolence Puppet, dumps a Puppet Dreary. Uh, dreary Doll here, banishing, brings itself back out of the graveyard. And overlays up into Gimmick Puppet of Strings. And summons out Humpty Dumpty. Gets another 8 here, up into Rank Up Numeron for Gimmick Puppet Giant Hunter. These are going to be overlaid up into Gigantes Doll. Gigantes Doll, we're going to detach two cards here, steals the Cup of Ace guy, tributes itself. Changes the levels, I think, into Gimmick Puppet of Leo. We have a win condition online now. Activates the effect of the Gimmick Puppet, which just pops a set card, apparently. Battle phase. Okay, we don't do any damage this turn, apparently. Something must have restricted us here. Condolence Puppet. Target the Gimmick Puppet. Why didn't we use the effect to place a Destiny Counter? Is that not relevant? Did we just not? Why do we not do that? Okay, whatever. MST, target MST. You know, just to uh, assert dominance here. Yeah, it was the one day of peace. So why didn't we put the uh, thing on this? A counter. Here's Cup of Ace. Always heads, baby. Cup of Ace always heads, baby! It's literally Pot of Greed! Normal Summon Aratama. Aratama, gonna search for Sakitama. Sakitama, Normal Summon a Spirit. Oh, what the hell is this? That's a Spirit? Lord of Swords? What does this do? Battle Phase, hold. Punch for 15, hold. It's just a guy. Oh! <laughs> It's Viper Jar! Oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Uh, normal summon Aratama into the Sumaha. Uh, targeting the uh, Sakitama here. It's just a guy, Clueless. Uh, Alright, yeah, no. Um, oh, gives your opponent a, a card or something as well? He does other things? Alright, attack for 3,000. Return this card, end phase, shuffle up the entire deck and grave. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. 
All right, we got Foolish Amphibian here, sending rank up Argent Force, and past turn, 3,500. Uh, we got Aratama and, uh, sorry, Nikitama Sakitama. Should be this guy, and that's going to be GG. <laughs> now, that is a spirit duel. All right, what do we got here? Uh, it is Spring Gun versus the Exodia. Going to go and activate Golgonda, summoning Sex Blower. All right, and uh, we're going to go Tally Ho Spring Gun, adding Branga. Set one, set two. All right, Sex Blower pass. Uh, activate Fusion Recycling Plant. Going to go Keeper of Dragon Magic, discard to add Fusion Deployment. And Keeper of Dragon Magic reveals Sandwich. Summons the Witch of the Black Forest from the deck. Deploys the troops and summons a Sangan. Activate the Fusion Recycling Plant. Discard the card to add Polymerization. Gonna activate Polymerization. And we are indeed going to uh, Fusion... Oh my god, Guardian Chimera! Uh, okay. Uh, Witch of the Black Forest and Sangan both triggering, as well as Chimera. Attempts to uh, destroy two cards, I think. Change the Daruma Cannon. Change Sex Blower. Uh, banish yourself right now. So we're going to hit the field spell and the set card and draw. Books the field first. Draws one Sangan. Kick by. And we're going to add head. Royal rare head. And add uh, arm. Allure of darkness. Draw. Banish Sangan. And now we're going to set a card and pass. Fusion recycling plant. Adds back the Witch of the Black Forest in the end phase. Sexu blower comes back. All right. Branga attaches itself onto the sex blower. Detaching, targeting the zone of the Guardian Chimera. Chains the Dark Factory of more production. So what does this do? Sends a card to draw one. Sends the Chimera to draw another one. Tally Ho, detaching, special summoning, or adding back here from the graveyard. Battle phase, attacks over the Keeper of the Dragon Magic. You said speedrun, it's turn four. This isn't speedrunning Exodia. Oh, arm. Fusion Recycling Plant, discard, re uh, discard that thing. Polymerization. Normal Summon Witch of the Black Forest. Wait, what? Into another Guardian Chimera using a limb? What do we use the limbs for? Little bro just used a piece of Exodia for Guardian Chimera. Okay. Maybe we don't want our win condition. Maybe the legs are just uh, good cards for, for Guardian. You know? They're just like draw folder for uh, Dark Factory. Okay, there's a, there's a right leg. Add the left leg and then activate Fusion Recovery. To add back the arm and the polymerization. That is insane. That is so funny. <laughs> We're using the, the fusion recovery to get back the material. Wow. GG. Uh, Arrow Mages. Okay. All right. Arrow Mages versus Geminis. <laughs> We're going to pass on a Jasmine. Link Vrain's pack cards are still legal. Da Dimer Synthesis to add the Burnout and Chemi Critter Carbo Crab. Activate the Piercing the, the Darkness. This is a normal monster, so I guess we get to draw a card. Supervise, be it becomes Gemini. Battle Phase attacks over. Uh, okay, doesn't get destroyed. Targets uh, uses the Catalyst Field to attempt to pop this or something. Cumid Winds chains. Pays a thousand and adds an aroma. Gets Laurel. And the Catalyst Field uh, destroys the both the cards, I guess? Okay. Extra normal summon with the Catalyst Field for the Carbo Crab. And pass into a Laurel here. Activate the Gemini Ablation, which summons out Gemini's Lord Gold Knight, which searches Supervise. Okay. So it specials a guy from deck and makes it a Gemini? Wow. Yeah, they really had to give this deck an e telly for uh, a normal summon, technically, if you think about it. Just to make Gemini's viable. Okay, adding Aroma Seraphy for Gingerbread House. Best tech card. Uh, here's Burnout here. Banishes the crap to summon out two Chemi Critters from the deck. Piercing the Darkness gets to draw another card here. All right, we've got all three names in uh, rotation here. Gingerbread House pops this guy. Jasmine gains the uh, life points, adds a card. Catalyst Field. Normal summons out the uh, Gold Knight. Gold Knight effect adds another Supervise. Activate the Supervise. Targeting the, ca the Carbo Crab. Sends a card and adds Evocator. Supervise again on the uh, Hydra, Hi Hydran Hawk. Summons out Phoenix Gearfreed. Gets to draw a card. And gets a Immortal Phoenix Gearfreed here. Up into Crumble Logos. Crumble Logos gets to uh, negate a face-up card on the field here. We might be negating that Gingerbread House uh, permanently. Both Supervises triggering when sent to the grave to revive the Gold Knight. 
Change the ablation here. Summons a Dark Storm Dragon from the deck. And then overlays it up into Meth Dragon. The Crackhead is here, bringing out the Diox Ogre. And activates his effect to detach, to send a card from the hand. Okay, it's Trish at home. Uh, Diox Ogre banishing to pop a card. Apparently, we also get to give its effect here. All right, nice. Uh, punch with the uh, Gold Knight. Punch with another Gold Knight. Clear with the Crumble Logos. And Marjoram attack uh, activates here when Special Summon gets to banish a card from the graveyard. Gets punched over by the Diox Ogre, though. And hits with the Meth Dragon. And overlays into Tornado Dragon. Wow, you're making Gemini's look kind of nice, dude. All right. Pop the Gingerbread House and pass turn. Top decks into a Rose Princess. Summons her. Activates the Rose Girl. Gets it back to the hand here. What, what are we doing here? We're going to extra normal summon? No, just normal normal summon. Uh, chain the Oblation here. Tags into Evocator, which pops. Pierce in the Darkness also gets the draw. We're going into Anime. Anime going to steal the Meth Dragon. No, please. No, not Meth Dragon. Tornado Dragon effect on attack declaration. Pop the Meth Dragon. Why are you hitting yourself? And Relinquish crashes itself for 2200. Why did you do that? You could have seen that coming a mile away. <laughs> Time for game. Gemini! All right, that was very cool. <laughs> Everyone's just bullying Arishel. All right, okay, what's going on here? Why did we use the uh, special summon from deck guy with Toon Kingdom on the field? You know, to summon BLS from deck for free, right? Oh, were you like playing around Arishel having Trishula? <laughs> is that actually why? <laughs> Not only is he being bullied, he's getting sniped. <laughs> They're sniping him. <laughs> Guess I'm not getting trashed. All right, here we go. Activate Toon Kingdom. Shadow Toon. Deal 2300. Page flip. Sniping on X3 is crazy. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Ancient Gear Golem Toon Monster? Oh, BLS can attack the turn it summoned. Is this like the only tune who does this? Why does this attack directly? Is this the only tune who does this? Okay. Um, he just doesn't have that restriction. Uh, okay, we're summoning uh, Necros with Decisive Armor here. Here's a Brian Ack. Bri bro, look at this. We went minus two to play around Trish, and it's just like, we might as well have just let our opponent Trish us at that point. Right? Like, it's so funny. All right, attack over the BLS. Banish to protect with Toon Kingdom. Hey, Arishel, how do you out, like, this board? <laughs> Banish Call by the Grave. Banish Dark Magic. Dark Magician with Call by the Grave. Oh, no. My Toon Dark Magician. So sad. Attack directly with Toon Blackluster Soldier. Sorry, Gear Golem. Activate Valkyrus. Wait, doesn't... This must have, like, the Ancient Gear gimmick, which is they can't do anything during the damage step. Oh, it's only spells and traps. It's so bad. Doesn't even have the good gimmick. Yep, buying magic cylinder. Oh, we drew cosmic cyclone for the field spell. Clear the black cluster soldier. Hold on. Hold. Hold. <laughs> <laughs> Putting monsters in defense against tunes is crazy. Wait, it can't attack directly. Wait, it pierces. I have so many questions. I have so many questions. Wait, it doesn't attack directly? Did he throw by putting Unicorn in defense mode? It's Empty Jar versus Ancient Gears. We got Gear Town here. Catapult. Swing. Summons Golem. Trigger on the new chain for Gear Town. Gear Town summons out XQC Dragon. And normal summon Wyvern. Wyvern's gonna add a Ancient Gear Fusion. Please don't just fuse your whole field away here. Wow, you can use two from deck for some reason. Don't know why, but sure. Here's an ancient, ultimate ancient gear golem. Hand destruction. Gonna send AD changer and a, a jar here to the grave. Sorry, book. Cup of ace always heads, baby. Dice jar. AD changer. Activate to flip up the dice jar. Dice jar. What is jar? jar? <laughs> okay. Um, I didn't know it was that good. Uh, clears the field here. And then why are we milling? Is it still dice jar stuff? There's a monster. There's another monster. What's going on here? Ancient Gear Wyvern. Okay, nice. It's literally just boneless cyber jar. Into Swords of Revealing Light. Past turn. Okay, sick. 
Uh, here's another gear town here. Activate catapult in the graveyard, banishing to pop it. My face when I destroy. Wow, we need to play Vsauce in these decks, man. Vsauce only works on monsters, but we could cheat. Clockwork Knight, discard a card, add a copy of the compass. Uh, compass plus the uh, hunting uh, hound gets to fuse the field here for howitzer. Burn a thousand and pass turn here. All right. Another AD changer here. Set Tayo. Tayo flip up the Needleworm. Ooh, is that compulsory evacuation device? Why are we even using Tayo right now? It's not like we're in a rush here. We're under swords, right? So, you know, you could have just waited. All right, draw, and that's going to be a compulse. Howitzer burns for another thousand. You know, six more turns of this. Just saying. Drop a turn here, an electromagnetic turtle here. Sets a card, need a worm. <laughs> Bounces it back to the hand here. How many compulses have we been through? Two, okay. Noble summons, come piss. Come piss. Summons a token here, howitzer. Burns for another thousand. That's a blue eyes attack at this stage, if you think about it. Ballista. No, not the howitzer. That was your win con, literally. Uh, hunting Hound, activate to fuse into... Oh, uh, another howitzer. Let's go. Is it hard once per turn? Is this thing a hard once per turn? There's no way it's a hard once per turn, is it? This thing's probably a hard once per turn. What are they going to do? Make Ancient Gear burn a deck? Like, that's not how this deck works. Right, Clueless? Fortress. And there goes the swords. Draws for turn here. Ooh, okay. Set. Needleworm. Book of Tayu. Flip the Needleworm. Needleworm effect. Mill five. Flip summon Spirit of the Fall Wind. Attacks over the uh, ancient gadget here. We got 11 cards in the opponent's deck, by the way. End phase, Book of Eclipse. And the opponent gets to draw one card. Why didn't... I think we should have waited on the Eclipse on your turn. Also, why not use the uh, hand destruction? Maybe you don't want to give your opponent cards? We could put these in the graveyard. Anyway, our opponent's doing things here. Oh, chain hand destruction. Oh, we're using it as a trap, kind of. Sort of, right? I guess. And the Ancient Gear Fortress brings back XQC Dragon. Howitzer burns for another thousand. Clockwork Knight, Battle Phase, Electromagnetic Turtle, no Battle Phase for you, and draw for turn. All right, here we go. Last card. Cup of Ace always heads, baby. Cup of Ace always heads, baby. Cup of Ace always heads, baby. To be fair, I think if you hit Tails, they would have decked out. So that was actually a bad Cup of Ace. The, f the first ever bad Cup of Ace, would you believe it? Oh, never mind, GG. Get Jarred. <laughs> get, get Empty Jarred. Oh, that's so funny. That's actually it. Yep. Gemini's versus... Uh, oh, God. Oh, the stall deck. This is... That's the stall deck. Okay, banishing for Beater of Billions. Banishing that card face down. Activate Cauldron of the Old Man. Cauldron of the Old Man. Deal 300. Gemini Ablation. End of main phase. Discard special. Summon out the Gold Knight from the deck here. Adding a Dimer Synthesis. Goes over to the end phase here. Passes turn. Opponent's gonna draw. No, it's our turn. Yes, of course. <laughs> Dimer Synthesis here. Adds a Catalyst Field. And now we're gonna Ablegat. Oh, ab, ab, words. Ablation. Oh, Ghostwood. Uh, spooky Dogwood. All right. Yeah, this is... Uh, yep, we're stalling. Uh, tribute to uh, special summon out the Iron Knight Gearfreed. Pops a card, gains 3,000 life points. Catalyst Field here. Normal summons the ev 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 Evocator. Activate the effect to get an extra normal summon. Geminize it. Gearfreed is summoned. Uh, did they not get any life points from the Gearfreed? Here's first of the dragons here. No, they are. It's just kind of hard to see sometimes. 27. 3,000. And 28. So all of that life points we gained from Dogwood was just kind of like nothing. Just sort of, it's basically Wabaku for the turn. All right, here's a Golden Ladybug. Gain 500, activate the effect of Cauldron the Old Man here. Gaining a counter, pinpoint landing, special summon out the Alpha. Pinpoint landing effect, draw a card, battle phase, punch over the Gear Freed, main phase two. Uh, this thing is unaffected, isn't it? All right, we're going to have to bounce the Gear Freed, I suppose. And set one card, Cauldron gains 1,000 life points, ablation in the end of main. Special summons out the another Evocator from the deck, targets the Immortal Phoenix, special summoning him out. Set special and pass. Catalyst Field revives the Evocator in the end phase, and top deck's another Alpha here. Gemini Ablation in the main phase, discard, special summon out the Dark Storm Dragon. Discard, sends a face-up card, destroys all spells and traps on the field! Let's go! Castell the Sky Blast, Musk Musketeer activates, and the opponent scoops it up as it is over! Dark Storm Dragon, the Gemini Heavy Storm, literally in the name, I suppose, is the entire point of it. Very well. We've got the uh, Thunder deck versus Crystron Ice Barrier. Um, question, do you think we should ban Ice Barrier because it technically topped? Because I really, I've watched Axe Noodle's deck and it doesn't really do Ice Barrier plays. 
Like, I think it's a very big stretch to call this an Ice Barrier deck. Okay, uh, well, we're actually gonna use some of the Ice Barrier cards, it looks like. We're gonna go Medallion for General Wayne. And we're gonna Normal Summon Revealer. Summoning Wayne. Wayne gonna get a copy of Freezing Chains. Activate her effect. Discard the Defender to summon out Cryomancer. Okay, well, apparently it is a big part of the deck here. Oh, Skywolf is activated here. Get to destroy the entire field here. I think we're live now. All right, Skywolf destroys the entire board, and Solar summons a token here. Still has plays. Okay, Salfafner discard. Special summons itself. Pop itself into a float of Thistvern. Thistvern going to pop itself now into a float of Citri. Passes turn here. Sits on a Citri and draws. We've got another Foolish Amphibian here. Solar plus Solar triggering off of each other here. Getting some attack, I think, right? And dumping. Dumps the Thunderclap Monk here. Summons a monk, uh, token. Both tokens going to be summoned into some summer summoner. Some, 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 sara, sara, sara. Uh, Citri is 2 plus 3 into Amatrix. Put everything into defense mode in the battle phase. Protect our life points for the turn here. Into Silent Honor Arc. Overlaid with 2 level 4s. Detaching and sucking the Amatrix. Oh, secret effect of Crystron Impact negates a targeting effect of a Crystron card. Okay. All right. A little bit of defense there, nice. Foolish Amphibian sends the Skywolf, puts this into attack mode, and passes turn. Draw, we've got an, a Medallion top deck here. Looks like we're just going to go straight to the battle phase. Attacks into the Sum Summoner. Baiting out the Thunderclap Skywolf summon here. Pops the Amatrix. Amatrix floats when special and destroyed, goes into a Sulfafnir. Clears the Thunderclap, uh, the Sum Summoner Summoner. Main phase two, we get to play here. We're going to go Freezing Chains. Attempt to Reborn here. But that is going to be a Storm Duster on the Continuous Spell. All right, we do have a medallion in the hand here. Is there any good normal summon that gets us out of the game here? We're going to go for Revealer. Normal summons the Revealer. That's four, five. Uh, and Revealer in the graveyard. Replaces the discard. Goes into the uh, little guy here for the White Aura Dolphin. Targets a face-up monster. Half the attack. So Fefner. Discard the turtle. Brings itself out. Pop itself. And I think we might try and go for a sneaky synchro play into Trishula. Ice Barrier Sub-Zero banishing the Sky Wolves and the Silent Honor Arc. Bye-bye, win condition. No more Sky Wolves. Sets a call by the Gra uh, call of the Haunted and passes turn here. All right. And Trish is just beaten down as we uh, try and close this one out here. No graveyard to synergize with the Call of the Haunted. All right, we're trying to do something here. We're going to go Thunderclap Monk plus the Hunter into a four here from Malevolent Sin. That's going to banish the Trish for uh, like two turns or something. Get to attack directly for 24. Doesn't Ice Barrier negate the effect or something? Oh, only when a d attack is declared involving the opponent's monster. Okay, here comes the uh, Trishula again. Clears the Malevolent Sin. Floats the Trishula into OG Trishula. Unfortunately, it's not considered a Synchro Summon. If only, you know. Wow, would it really be too much to ask that it was considered a Synchro Summon? Yeah, okay. So Trish doesn't actually trigger here. It's just a vanilla monster, but okay. Uh, that should be out of gas now, right? Clueless. All right, T-Sets here, punches over, Rosenick's gonna attack directly, and that's it for game GG. All right, big plays there, very nice, beautiful gameplay, great duel. Uh, yo, we got, how many Christrons made it to top four? This deck is insane, apparently. All right, uh, we're gonna send Thisvern here, our opponent's gonna summon Congrate. Thisvern, getting a copy of Sulfafner from the deck here. Discarding a Thisvern to special summon out Sulfafner. Popping itself to get Smiger. Smiger pops itself, or the, the uh, Mathematician, to get the uh, Rion. So we don't want the Smiger trap card, huh? Okay. Flip the Kong here. Attempt to pop these two. Chain to uh, Synchro with the Thisfern here. I guess uh, this guy's just going to dip. All right. Three plus two is indeed... Uh, wait, what? Oh, is that, is that a six? Oh, it's a three and a three. Okay. Powered Insectron cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects this turn. What a great little defender. Is this guy considered an Insector? Asking for friend. Uh, also, question. If it's booked face down, can it still be destroyed by battle? I guess we'll find out. Miracle Rupture. Send a card draw. Weathering Soldier. Adds a copy of the Fossil Fusion here. And now we get to Fusion Shokan. Banishing a Sulfafner from the opponent's graveyard here to go into Skull Knight. And now we're going to go into Keystone. Recycling a Banish card. Summoning itself. That's a level 1 tuner if we want. Whoa! Saryuja! Okay. All right, we're doing some nonsense today, it looks like. Draw four, put one back. This guy banishes itself from the grave here to add another copy of the Fossil Fusion. Is that thing, like, not once per turn? Banish this uh, Skull Knight, pops the face down Insectron, 
activates the corridor, recycles the fusion monster, summons itself out here. Boosting with the Saryuja. We are not getting an OTK, surely. Sh surely we are not getting an OTK here. Special summon out this guy, overlay up into the granite. And granite's gonna search for a rock monster here. Adding Gaia Plate the Earth Giant. Special summons Gaia Plate the Earth Giant. Saryuja boosts it. And the Xeno Guitar gonna send from deck to the grave here. And dumps a Shell Knight. More boost here. Shell Knight effect. Banishing. Special summoning Kong from the deck. 12,900 OTK. Wait. Why no die? Wait, why no die? Wait, why no die? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Also, you take no da- Insectron doesn't just stop battle and protection of its effect, of itself, but for the whole turn and the player. Insector cards are good. All right, are we going to get punished here? Did we overcommit into the wrong board? Because these are just vanillas right now. All right, what are we going to do about this? Christron Smiger, banishing to add Christron Impact here. Normal summon out the Citri. Sets three cards and passes. It doesn't look like much, but that's legitimately the best, like, Christron outcome you could ask for here. All right, they're going to go Fossil Fusion. Fossil Fusion banishes the Powered Insectron, summons out the Skull Wagon. And now we're going to go drag down to the grave here. Gets rid of the controller. Draws a free card here. Rips his own nemesis. I don't know why we're playing drag down. That's very odd. All right. Links up into triple burst dragon. Can negate the damage step if we need to here. Skull uh, Saryuja. Uh, boost the attack here. Christron impact is chained by the pop effect here of the Skullgar. Brings back the Thistvern from the Banish Pile. Battle phase. Start steps. Christron Citri. Synchros up with the Mathematician. Goes into a six here for the Christron Amatrix. And, uh, sorry, five. Amatrix puts everything into defense mode, except the two Link Monsters, interestingly. Heck bye. Alright. Oh, and now we're going to go Terrors of the Overroot. Sends the Saryuja and sets the Keystone to the field here. And the opponent gets to keep the uh, Triple Burst, which clears the Fist Burn. Does a little bit of piercing damage. And then main phase two puts them into attack mode. Sets a card and end phase gets dusted on a Duster. All right, uh, Chris John, you got to do something here. Got to set set up a really uh, big play because this isn't really much here. Adds a Sulfafner with this fern. Sulfafner effect. Going to discard Citri. Special summoning itself out here. Pop it itself. That's going to get out from the deck here is Smiger. Smiger pops the Amatrix. Okay, summons out Quan. Amatrix floats into the Sulfafner. That's going to synchro up into Quan Dax. We've got four and five here into the battle phase. Attack over the Keystone. And then main phase two, set one, pass. Okay, what are we going to make here? This is a nine synchro play, but with two materials, that's not really... That's not Corian Gandrax, basically. What the hell does Triple Burst do? Does it have an effect here? Summons out the Mrs. Radiant. Trap tracks. Target the Sulfafner. Makes it unaffected by Lance. <gasps> Chains the Christron Impact to protect it from targeting. That's insane. Okay, so I think Trap tracks pops the Sulfafner and then sets a trap that you can use this turn. Pops the Sulfafner, sets an impact, resolution, Sulfafner, floats, plus impact, brings back Thistvern. Thistvern is a 3, 4, 7, plus 2, that's going to be 9 here, with two tuners. Oh wait, no, we're not going for Quarry and Gandrax? 4 plus, wait, what are we doing here? Oh, Trish and the Dragon of the sub <laughs> It's a Trish jump scare, banishing the entire field here, and finally clearing everything with the Christron deck. Holy crap, would you expect that? Level 11 synchro play. Thought he was going to go for a Quarry and Gandrax, but no. Level 11 it is. All right. Uh, one little problem here. Your opponent's on 8,000 life points. So you can't give them too long to try and top deck something here. Smiger is going to banish itself to add a trap here. We're going to take a Crystron entry from the deck. And uh, we're still going to pop off here with Sulfafner, pitching the trap card. Summoning itself, popping itself. And now we're floating up into a Thesfern. Rosenix getting a token here. All right. Normal summons up the Rion. And punches for uh, 32 here. And I think this is a bit of a scary synchro setup we've got. All right, we've got Quandax. That's 437. Ryan, I think, is the hand synchro. Drag around to the grave here. We've got a foolish burial. That's useless. Keystone. This is a very, very convoluted upstart goblin you're using here, my friend. Set one card. End phase. Quandax. Synchro's up into a seven. Goes into dragster. Spell and trap negate. And I think that's uh, exact lethal on board here with a negate, but it does reduce the level, so it might not be enough here. But 27 connects, and 21 is GG! We're going to the finals with Christron. Is it a mirror match? Oh my god. No, it's Ancient Gears versus Christron in the final.
All right, normal summon Gen X Undyne, send this Vern. That's a good start here. Add the Gen X controller, this Vern banishing. Jesus That's gonna add a Crystal Ball from Deck Grand here. That's uh, Sol Fefner if we ever did need one, which we are gonna use now to discard the entry summoning itself, popping to set up a Smiger, a Turtle. And we're going to hit the turtle here, and now that's going to give us a Citri with two set cards. I'm going to be real with you. Two plus three plus a uh, Thistvern. That's a, that's a nine play on our opponent's turn there. I'm just saying. If uh, anyone here wants to do some maths. No, that's a five. Two plus three. Two. Target three. That makes five. Five plus three is eight. Uh, that's not nine either. Wow. What is maths? Synchro summoning is bad. Okay. We got Clockwork Knight being activated here. And now, normal summon Silver Gadget. Wow, Robbie Cole would be so proud of you right now, dude. I'm just saying. All right, uh, the gadgets have hit the field here. We got the Ancient Gear Frame. Frame? 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 Xe Shokan into Gear Gigan X. All right, is it time to disrupt the opponent? Shall we do something? Did we get Smiger? Okay, it's time to disrupt. It's time to disrupt. All right, we're going to go Citri, target the turtle here. That is a four synchro. Four plus three, seven. And if you go impact into something, Quandax. Got to toggle on when you play Crystron all the time, you know. Did we just pass priority? Nope, we are toggled on, although the opponent does have a quick play. Quandax effect to synchro. Four plus three, seven. Chain the impact. Who are we targeting? Who are we targeting? Who are we targeting? Target Citri. Corian Gandrex requires two tuners for some reason. Uh, lore, I guess. And is Sean going to have an answer to this? Two cards left in hand after using a normal summon. I don't know, man. Goddamn dude. Corian Gandrax hits the field here. And activates his effect. Is it just monsters? Target monsters in the field in the graveyard. And the graveyard, by the way. Corian Gandrax banishing the Gigan X and the gear frame from the uh, field. I'm very concerned as to what this quick effect that Sean seems to have here is. I don't know. We'll see if that's, like, actually a relevant thing in a moment. Okay, Quarian Gandrak resolves, sets a card, and passes. Sean does not have anything else here. This is looking rough. 8,000 damage is a lot to chomp through, though, for Christron. Let's see what we can do here. Although, to be fair, we've got kind of a big setup here. we got Solfefner in the grave. We've got three cards in hand. How are Christron and Drytron related? Bro, what do you mean? They have, like, six out of eight of their letters similar to one another. And their machines. You should get a standing desk. Yeah, I will eventually when I move back into my real house. All right, we're floating Ryan out the deck here. That's a level three Quarian Gandrax, by the way. How did you re reduce Gandrax's level, by the way? Oh, double tuner. Oh no, one tuner. <gasps> Is this a Trish play? Please Trish him, please Trish him. I love Trish. I would die for Trishula Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Can I get a $5 Steam card so I can buy a video game and then add you as a friend? Where are you going with this girl? mom could use the standing desk no she doesn't she my mom is not a computer person my mom is maybe open the youtube app on her phone kind of person technology is uh no bueno mst not like this play lethal company i've heard it's funny we should play like a uh, like a like a what is it called like the dz employees lethal company game or something all right uh we are just sending up some tokens here and tuners and stuff as we've popped and forced our opponent's back row here added an impact and here is a Synchro 410. Oh no, it's a 7. Yeah, it's a token there. Uh, that's a Dragster. Fell in Trap Negate. And Coral Dragon draws a card. It's in main phase 1, by the way. Looks like that's enough for us as we proceed to the battle phase and deal 41 damage. Is my math wrong? It sounds kind of wrong, doesn't it? My, I always question my math. There it is, 41. All right, set one impact and pass turn. Ooh, set two cards. Uh, what's the opponent playing? Stun? Ancient Gears, like actual Ancient Gears. But um, unfortunately, we got Corrigan Gandrax to turn one. Ooh, that's a good top deck. We got Normal Summon Wyvern. Bro, I'm going to be honest, like Ancient Gears on one card versus a Dragster. I don't know, I feel like you're in a bad spot here. But to be fair, they can punch over it. Okay, we're adding Box with the Wyvern here. That gets to get a gear frame. I didn't realize San had so many fans here. If he wins this, he'll be the first time two-time LCS champion. Bro, San is just the Joshua Schmidt of dog shit. <laughs> Damn, he's just a multi-YCS winning champion of garbage. <laughs> Let's go, son. I love your Christian deck, honestly. I think it's cool. Joshua, shit. All right, we got another Clockwork Knight, and we're passing here. Oh, impact in the end phase. That's not once per turn. 
What does Clockwork Knight even do? It just makes things machines, right? And then... Oh no, my Machine Crystron deck is now only machines, right? Like, Banish from Grave Effect? Banish this card, discard a card, add an Earth Machine from your deck to your hand. You can lose the effect once per turn. Well, yeah, I know it's good in, like, Ancient Gear, but the Floodgate effect is not really relevant unless, uh, you pair it with something like Tikaboo or Rivalry. Uh, to be fair, the, the, the Floodgate we're banning this time is probably, um, uh, Synchro Zone. That one looked like a little bit Cancer. Ah, Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Pack. By the way, we combined like five guys for that. Three plus one, four plus three, seven plus four is eleven. Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, and Quarian Gandra connect directly for game. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our first ever two-time LCS champion, Sun. YouTube! I hope you guys enjoyed this iteration of Last Card Standing. We are starting to get dangerously close to no more archetypes left. But then again, I, I say, say that, that every week, week so who knows? knows. Uh, I might already start taking some ideas for uh, Last Card Standing Season 2. Uh, the views and the interest and the hype surrounding this has been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, so thank you so much for uh, tuning in every week. 16 episodes we've done. It's crazy. This thing has been running for like almost a year at this point. So if you do have any suggestions for Season 2, let me know down below as well. Of course, you know, entry still open and still free to everyone who wants to take part. All you need to do is join my Discord server, follow the rules, and you're good to go. Especially now, Master Duel doesn't really have a lot of ultras and supers for some of these remaining cards, you know, because there's so many banned cards at this point. There's just like, like Fiendish Chain is meta right now, you know what I mean? So consider signing up and uh, joining through the Discord. Uh, but anyway, this is your top cut pie chart here. Again, very balanced in a way. There's always some sort of interesting... Uh, strategy showing up every week someone breaks the meta but some of these are finally getting their tops here necros eventually getting into the top cut surprised it took that long honestly ancient gear as well is here so we'll see what is going to top next week uh, by the time you watch this video i'm actually currently live uh filming the next episode um so yeah do tune in every two weeks on my uh twitch stream so you can take part thank you everyone for watching leave a comment down below what changes and suggestions you have for the next season and i will see you uh in the next one peace out and take care